All right there, guys. This is Pete from Ivy Ticket. That's me, Pete. Uh, and let's do some step one questions, shall we? All right, so this one's pretty short. When I see a question this short, I just like to read it all the way through. With longer ones, like long question stems, I like to read the last sentence first just to get a sense of what kind of question we'll be answering. But this one's short, so let's just get to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, researchers want to compare albuterol versus combined albuterol plus aerosolized DNAs in the prevention of hospital admissions in patients with cystic fibrosis. All right, so let's unpack that a little bit. We have a group of researchers, and there's two types of therapies. There's albuterol versus a combination of albuterol and aerosolized DNAs, and they're going to give these to patients with cystic fibrosis to see how each therapy affects the rate of hospital admission. All right, fair enough. In designing their experimental study, researchers have concluded which of the following as a benefit of a randomized control trial over a prospective cohort study. So this question is asking us, what are the benefits of a RCT, randomized controlled trial, over a prospective cohort study? So in order to answer this, uh, we first need to know the difference. It helps to know the difference, of course, between these two types of studies. So let's just break it down, all right? So in an RCT, we're going to have just, you know, one big group of cystic fibrosis patients. And then we get to choose, you know, here's all our patients. Yay. And then we're going to randomly assign this large group of patients into two different groups. So here's one group. See it? Here's the other group. And the assumption is that because we randomly assigned these patients to these two groups, the two groups are roughly similar. There, there should be no difference between these two groups, right? All right, and then to one, we're going to give albuterol. Albuterol. And then to the other group, we're going to give the combined therapy. And then we're going to look at the rate of hospital admissions in the two groups, right? All right, hospital admissions. I have excellent handwriting, by the way. Okay, so now what is a prospective cohort study? So cohort is just another word for group, and prospective, or prospect, is to look forward. So the main thing about a cohort study is that the groups already exist. We don't get to create the groups or assign people into two different groups. The groups already exist. So the classic example is if you have a group of smokers and non-smokers, right? Smokers, non-smokers. And the thing is, is we did not assign patients to these two groups. These two groups already exist, and we're just going to follow them to see what the different health outcomes are between the two groups. So in this type of study, we would go out and we would find patients who have CF and who are only on albuterol. Albuterol. So we would actually have to go out and recruit patients that would fit our profile. Again, we're not assigning them to, the, to this group. They're already, there are already patients that are in this group, okay? And in the same case, we would go out and find another group of CF patients that happen to be on combined therapy. Now... Why this, group is, why this group of patients is on combined therapy while this one is only taking albuterol, we don't know. So right away, the difference in the design of these two types of studies should hint to you the answer to this question. So realize that in the randomized controlled trial, we just have a group of CF patients, and then we randomly assign them to two groups, and then we choose what therapy to give each group. You know, this one gets albuterol, and this one gets combined. Whereas in the prospective cohort study, we have to go out into the population and find cystic fibrosis patients that are already on albuterol. And then we have to go out and find another group of cystic fibrosis patients that are already on combined therapy, right? So right away, there's some interesting things about that, right? But in, in this case, in the prospective cohort study, in any case, we're going to follow them over time and do the same thing. We're going to look at the difference in hospital admission, hospital admission. Okay, so now that we know the setup, let's begin to look at our answer choices. 